Hi, this is Kara Wigington with Second Go Round Designs in Tyler, Texas. Today we're going to create and transfer this birdhouse kit into Christmas decor. We're going to start by laying out our paper to get an idea for placement. Here I've already cut out the bird out of the center of the paper. I'm just showing you, you can cut and paste as you desire. Your first step is to paint your pieces, and then you're going to decoupage your paper onto the birdhouse for the design that you would like. Here I'm assembling the birdhouse. I'm using tight bond, thick and quick wood glue, and a mallet. You're going to hammer in those tabs into the slot, as you see here. After you have your house assembled, select your mold. Here I'm using Olive Crest by IOD. I felt like this design matched well with the paper I used on the front of the birdhouse. I'm using air dry clay, which is very easy to use. I did coat my mold with a little powder and a brush of cornstarch for the first use. You gotta roll your mold in your hand, roll it out, and basically it's kind of like using Play-Doh. Place it in the mold. I'm scraping away the excess with a, a plastic card. I'm filling in areas where I need more clay. The nice thing about this mold is it has a edge around each of the elements that make it very easy to pull away the clay for removal. It has so many options on elements, layout, however you want to design your piece. I decided to use this long leafy branch with berries or olives um, and cover my roof of the birdhouse with it. While your clay is wet straight out of the mold, I apply the tight bond glue. Just spread it with your finger. Be sure and get it to all the way to the edge and place it where you would like. Be sure to tap around to make sure that it adheres closely to your surface. I decided to frame out the birds on each of the sides and then go heavy with the molds across both sides of the roof. Here you see I've got the bird outlined, kind of following the branches of the design and the paper. I think this mold works really well with this particular cardinal paper from Decoupage Central. I added this design at the opening of the birdhouse, also from the same mold, and then covered the roof. You're going to allow that to dry fully. Once it no longer feels cold to the touch, and you have more of a solid white uh, color, then you can tell that the clay is dry. Now I'm going to paint the clay. Just using an artist brush and some, um, I think I used a craft paint in antique white, the same color as the backdrop of the house. Be sure and fill in your mold with the paint. Be sure and get in all the little details and get full coverage around the sides and edges. Here you see I've painted the entire mold 
of the roof and the sides and front. And now, once the paint is dry, I take it outside and use just a spray top coat. Be sure and get full coverage on your top coat because the next step is going to be glazing. Glazing gives you that added effect of aged to give you the vintage vibe. Here I've taken a brush. I'm just dipping it in the glaze and spreading it all over the molds and the roof of the house. Be sure and dab it in and, and, and get into all the little nooks and crannies between the molds and the detail. I also applied to the roof itself so that it would blend in with what I'm doing to the mold. You can be as generous as you like with this stuff. And once you get where you would you like, then you can wipe back with a wet paper towel if you choose to lighten up some of the texture like I'm doing here. It's very easy to manipulate, maneuver around. Now you see that it, the glaze is dry. I'll also add a second finishing coat of top coat. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Please see the link below to purchase the paper, the clay, and the varnish I used. And I hope that you enjoy this project. Happy crafting!